Thanks for tuning in. Today I want to do a follow-up wear and tear review of my Hermes Compact Bjorn wallet and that's this one right here. I know one of my more popular uploads is my initial video that was sharing uh, like my first impressions of this item and I've now had it for more than 18 months now and I thought it would be a good time to do a follow-up video where I share how it has worn over time. I've also featured this in a number of other videos like the uh, like pink comparison video and also like the card wallet and wallet comparison video so uh, if you haven't checked those out, I will link them down below. But otherwise, I'm gonna dive into uh, what my wallet looks like now. So this is my Compact Bjorn. This is in the rose lipstick or the lipstick pink color. It's in the Tadillac leather, which is a gorgeous, really smooth leather. As you can see, it's sheen right there. Uh, and it has gold hardware on it. I purchased this. January 2018 so it's been more than 18 months since I've had it it just opens up like so and uh, there's a zipper compartment here slot for cards here there's a pocket and there are three pockets um, behind this compartment and there is one larger compartment behind the coin section and then there's one slot for bills in the back and as you can see this is my wallet uh, I use this every single day and I will take my cards out of this wallet into a card wallet if I need to use it for smaller bags and that's why you'll see some of my cards are missing from here uh, because they are right now in a card wallet uh, I think this is a great size it is um, a, a compact Bjorn. The original Bjorn is a full continental wallet so it's like the the full length where you don't have to fold your bills. Uh, this one will like crease them down the middle once. It has the matching stitching on it as well. It's a, it's a pink stitch. It's not a contrast stitch. Those are the specs of my wallet. So let me dive into the wear and tear on this guy. Like I said, I use this pretty much every day uh, unless I'm using a card wallet. And so in the past 18 months, uh, it's seen some, some, uh, some wear. <laughs> I'm going to try to do close-ups of all of these points, but uh, if, if I can't get it to really focus, I'll, I'll do my best to describe it just in case. Uh, the pull tab in the front right here. Uh, it doesn't show too much wear, except uh, the very, very tip. There's a slight wrinkle. Um, and it's kind of, if you would imagine, kind of accidentally jabbing the tip into, you know, uh, a dead end. It kind of like bunches up. That's kind of <laughs> that's kind of what it looks like. Um, ever so slightly. And that's mostly because of the, um, of the, of you like pulling it back into the tab here. Sometimes it'll hit the H hardware instead of sliding right through. So there's a little bit of wear there. Uh, that doesn't bother me as much as actually the dirt that has accumulated, if you will, on the, on the stitching towards the tip right here. So I'm gonna get really close and maybe you can see it, but you'll see it's like a beautiful matching pink color and then it starts getting darker towards the bottom there um, and I think that's just from the oils on my hand the dirt on my hands not that my hands are always dirty but you know the natural oils and dirts that are on your hands uh, that will transfer over as you're handling uh, the wallet and and that's really the main tip to open and close the wallet so so that's the little um, where I see there. The hardware has a, a bunch of hairline scratches. Um, nothing nothing too like crazy in my mind uh, and they all seem pretty expected with normal wear uh, but they do have hairline scratches. If you own the click clack bracelets or the click H bracelets uh, you'll know you'll be familiar with the scratches that can go on the Hermes hardware so it's pretty consistent with that uh, some might consider that to be a lot of wear that shows really quickly and some might think that's pretty average I used to own a click H bracelet so I guess that kind of 
level set my expectations. Uh, so nothing seems too crazy here, but uh, there are a lot of hairline scratches on the hardware. On the back side, the same thing happens with the dirt kind of accumulating on one point. It's right here. There's an extra tab that holds the pull tab together, and that piece really um, has the most wear, if you will, probably because it's the most raised point on the back. So when I put it down on a table and things like that, uh, it, that's the point that always is in contact with some kind of surface and therefore it has accumulated some dirt, if you will, uh, right around there. Overall, in terms of the body of the, the wallet, uh, there are some scratches and some dents in general, and um, I, I think that's just consistent with the wear that I have and the fact that I use it every day. Because this is a larger wallet, it goes into a larger bag, and one that I use for work, and so uh, there is a little more space for this to get jostled around. That might contribute to some of the wear. Um, another component I know are my nails. Uh, I tend to have they're not ridiculously long nails, but I do have longer nails and um, uh, sometimes when I grab for the item, I realize that I have actually scratched it. Uh, so there are some marks that are consistent with my scratch marks. <laughs> One thing I did notice as I continue to use this item is um, you'll see there's like a slight uh, indent here, if you will, and that's because of the cards that have been added on this side. So the more you fill the item up, the thicker this section will get. And as a result, the tips of it might not be at the same level, depending on how you, you stuff this. It's basically molded to the cards that are within. And for those of you that use like card wallets and you put a lot of cards in them, or you know any kind of wallet that you use over time, it will always uh, naturally mold to uh, the items that are contained within it so that also is very consistent with my expectations uh, but didn't know if that would bother anybody so just wanted to throw that out there this zipper compartment the zipper is really really smooth but i do not use it i don't put anything in there actually at all unless i have the odd chance of getting change and i really need to put it somewhere like then i will but typically i don't use it uh, but otherwise the zipper is really smooth and i really like it um, I like the um, compartment for cash in the back. Uh, it's actually really clean. <laughs> uh, that, that's, it's cleaner than I thought it would be. I mean, money is, like cash money is really dirty. <laughs> so uh, I actually thought it would have a little more wear on the inside, but it is actually pretty clean. Uh, and that's, uh, that's a bit to my surprise. Um, the card slots here in the front, I only use two of them, one for my ID, one for my credit card, and I place one of my thicker credit cards in the back. So just for you to note, um, I know nowadays there are credit cards that are made out of metal, and uh, like the Chase Sapphire Reserve is one of them, that's one of the cards that I have. I know like the Amex Platinums are also a metal card, and there are other you know companies other brands that are coming out with uh, credit cards that are metal and um, they tend to be thicker and heavier than standard plastic credit cards and because of that uh, they're a little too thick for my liking to go in the front section here so i actually slide it in the back here and i use this full compartment for that one credit card so that's just an fyi in case uh in case you have a lot of those cards you may want to consider how you would divide them up within the card compartments here uh, you can definitely fit it down these slots it just stretched it out a lot at the beginning um, and I, I didn't feel too comfortable putting it there I I can fit a number of cards in this large back compartment you can see I have like a lot of things in here um, and so the bigger compartments in the back are definitely handy for putting like business cards or you know those like store like punch cards and things like that it's like a lot of things I can collect in the back 
One thing I wanted to know, um, and I'm going to try my best to show this, is uh, there is like glazing that happens on the edge of all of the leather. Um, uh, and I, it's either called piping, I think it's called piping. I don't know what the official term is, but it's a contrasting color. It kind of looks like a taupey color. And um, I've noticed in the past on the flaps here, they are really soft pieces of leather. And so I tried, when I like slide my cards back in, the corner of the card catches on the edge here and it leaves a mark. And I think it's just the angle at which I was putting them in. So that's something to be mindful of and something that you may want to be more careful of uh, because it did leave a mark. Um, and, I, and now the leather is, um, is like, it's like a little scratched in that corner. There is also some wear on the corners in general. This is also looking like, you know, it just got a little um, impact from the corner and it got a little squished, uh, but that's all consistent with normal wear. I would expect it to be. Overall, I, I really like this wallet. I do not regret purchasing it. It cost a very pretty penny, I'm not going to lie. I'm glad I have it as part of my collection, uh, but just given the price tag of these items, I don't think I'd run out and go buy them in every color. That just makes my heart sing. Um, that's ultimately what happened. I saw this color, I fell in love with this color, and I just decided to go with it. Even though I'm not a huge full-size wallet person, I just really fell in love with the color, and I, I decided, you know, all right, I'm just gonna go with it. <laughs> I did no research, I didn't know, it was a relatively impulse buy. But, uh, I don't, I, like I said, I don't regret it. I like the color still, I like the construction of this wallet. It is very helpful. It's easy to get to all of the things that you really need and it's also spacious enough to hold all of your essentials. Um, but given the cost, I don't like I really don't think it's necessary to have to go run out and go buy one. Like I, I, it's not that great that I'm like, "Oh my god, you have to drop everything, save so that you can buy one of these." It's more of a if you're in the market for an Hermes wallet, and you like this compact shape and style, and uh, you want to build your small leather goods collection or you want to build your Hermes collection, then this is definitely a great option to look into. I thought this flap here would bother me like so much. I thought it would be super annoying that I'd always have to open this to get to my cards and or cash or anything, but I actually, I really like this. Uh, flap right here and um, it's it's actually not very annoying to get in and out of uh, and like I said I really do appreciate that this holds literally everything and also has space for some more things if I really need it yeah it shows some wear and I was initially concerned that the leather might um, be too delicate but you know I, there are some scratches on it but you can't really tell I was not familiar with Tadillac leather before I purchased this item. Uh, I didn't know what kind of tendencies it had. I didn't know if it was like box or swift leather where it would scratch a lot or if it was resistant, more resistant like Edson or anything like that. Uh, so I went into it blind and I, I have to say I would consider this to be a leather that's kind of in between the two. So. In the Chanel world, let's say you have your lambskin, which is considered really delicate and soft, and you have your caviar, which is considered to be more resilient. Well, uh, you know, you have your like treated calf skin that's like, or your grained calf skin that's like kind of in the middle. I would consider this to be kind of like that grained calf skin. Uh, it, it doesn't have a lot of grain to it, so it's a relatively smooth leather, which I love because it looks so buttery soft and it looks so luxurious. Like just like look at that sheen coming off of it, right? Um, and sometimes some folks can consider Epsom leather to be looking a little too like plasticky and I don't think this has that quality at all. But uh, I don't think it's as soft as Swift leather. I don't think it's as delicate as Swift leather. I don't own anything that is Swift leather so I cannot say based off of personal experience. Uh, but based on descriptions and uh, concerns that have been shared in general, I, I don't think this is as delicate as that. So just trying to, you know, lay it on the spectrum for you. I 
consider this to be pretty much in the middle. So um, I am a fan of Tadalac leather and I would definitely not shy away from purchasing more items that are Tadalac leather. In the 18 months that I use this, I have not had the urge to have to buy another full-size wallet. Since I purchased this, I only purchased two other small leather goods and they were both Chanel card holders in the very, very thin style. So um, they were to serve a completely different purpose. And so I, you know, I think that stands a testament against this guy and, and how I get along with it. So that's everything, that's my follow up for the Hermes Compact Beer that I have. It is a great wallet, I really appreciate the, the layout, the space that it provides for all of my essentials, and really how easy it is to get in and out of the item. Also, I'm really impressed by the Tadalac leather and its performance for the last 18 plus months. Uh, but the biggest drawback for me is really its price tag. I know it's an Hermes item, and I know it's a full size wallet, uh, but still, it's, it is it is an item that's really going to get used a lot every day, get some signs of wear and tear. So if there are other pieces that are on your wish list that you're striving for, I definitely continue to prioritize those over this particular item. Those were all the points that I wanted to cover, but of course, if you have any other questions, feel free to leave them down below or head on over to Instagram. I'd be happy to help however I can. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate all of your feedback and support. If you like this kind of content, I post videos every Sunday, so if you'd like to be one of the first to know, feel free to subscribe. So until next time, 